At the same time, one USB webcam, it can connect to both Mac and Windows. At the same time, it can be used on Android and iPad. It's a document camera. It can be used on two computers at once. Hello everyone, this is a USB camera. Usually, this type of USB camera is connected to one computer at the same time. Then you open it on the computer, like Google Meet, Ops, Skype, to use for video applications. So we were thinking, this USB webcam, can it be connected to two computers at the same time? This one is Windows, this one is a Mac. I want to connect to two computers at the same time. Is that possible? Some people might say, hey, sure, I can use a USB hub. You see, the hub connects, then it can split the connection, then connect the USB to both computers. The answer is no. Why? Because this USB camera, it is a device. It is a device. You must connect to this host. So, at the same time, you need to connect the USB webcam to two computers. This is very challenging. But we were wondering, is there a way to overcome this? Similar to an HDMI splitter, which splits the HDMI signal at the same time, so that your TVS can see it. Is there a way to make this happen? This idea is quite simple, but actually creating this product is very difficult. We still manage to make it. This model is called a USB camera splitter. Look, this is the USB webcam input. I connected it to this Logitech camera. This is how it's connected. And there are two outputs, webcam 1, webcam 2 output. These two webcam outputs, they are physical webcam outputs. You don't need any software to simulate. It's a real webcam output. It's an actual one, a physical webcam output. At the same time, Windows and Mac can detect it. Even Windows and Android, Windows and this iPad. Anyway, your system, your host, if it supports UVC, it can all be used. Let's try it out now. How to use this Windows and Mac? First, connect DC 5 volt power supply. Then, the USB webcam input. We'll connect a webcam. This is Logitech streaming cam. I'll connect it now. Then here we have webcam 1 and webcam 2 output. They connect to Windows and this Mac respectively. I'll connect webcam 1 to my Windows. Over here. Over here. After webcam 2. I connect my Mac. Mac had a speed hub. At this point. My webcam is connected to my Windows. And my Mac. I open Google Meet to give it a try. Start Google Meet. Then select the camera. Press this. You see the video now, right? And you can also select the audio. Because it also has sound. USB audio. At this moment, look. This webcam, it just appeared on Google Meet. Next, we'll set it up on Windows. On Windows, I'm setting it up in Zoom meetings. Select the camera you want, this USB video. You can see it, right? At the same time, a USB webcam can connect to both Mac and Windows for video conferencing. Similarly, this USB Logitech C922 works too. The C922 webcam. It can also be used on both Mac and Windows. This is the type of USB we usually use for teaching. Document camera. This is a document camera from IPEVO. Of course, it can also be used. The document camera can be used on two computers at the same time. It's the same principle. This is the DJI Pocket 3. DJI Pocket 3. It has a USB output on the back. USB output. You can also connect it to our converter. At the same time, both devices can display successfully. No problem. The USB webcam output of the DJI Pocket 3. 
allowing two computers to connect at the same time. Let's first connect this USB-C cable. This side is A. Okay, and then remove the original webcam. Replace it with the UVC output from the DJI Pocket 3. Connect it. At this point, click on the webcam here. Click in OK. This way, the screen will show up simultaneously. See. The USB webcam from the DJI Pocket 3 connects to two computers at the same time. Not necessarily. You need to use two computers at the same time. You can also use this iPad. iPad after iPad OS 17. It has open physical UVC support. You can use a USB webcam by plugging it in. It's the same principle. Connect this webcam to the iPad. Add the USB hub here. Oh, connect it. Now open your app. You can see the video in the UVC player. Once opened, you can see the video. I turned this document camera around. Do you see it's the same moment? It can also be used on Windows and iPad. Of course, you need to check the settings of this app. Some apps can only record video. You can use your iPad. It's for backup purposes. Or, you can use your iPad as a display. As for whether this app can stream or do video conferencing, etc. It depends on the app's features. Currently, after iPad OS 17, it has opened up UVC. Then it depends on what features this app has. If it can stream, then it can stream. If it can do video conferencing, then it can do that. This completely depends on. It depends on what features your app has. Similarly, I can also use it on an Android phone at the same time as the iPad. On my Android phone, I have a USB-C OTT cable. This cable shouldn't be used carelessly. You can use a USB-C hub. You can use USB-C OTG. It's not just a simple C2 adapter. This cable is called USB-C OTG. You shouldn't misuse this cable. Then connect it. So on my Android, I see a prompt to confirm. Oh, look at the Android. This related app just opened. At the same point in time, used on both Android and iPad. It's the same principle. This UVC can be installed on this Android. As for what functions this app has, recording, live streaming, or video conferencing, it completely depends on the app's features. If the app doesn't support live streaming or video conferencing, then this won't work either. It doesn't make much sense. It all depends on this app. It depends on what features it supports. Of course, connecting this USB document camera is used for educational purposes. In the field of professional live streaming, we can connect devices like this switcher. This one is called the Atom Mini Pro. There's a port called USB-C webcam output. This USB output is designed to output video format just like this webcam. It's the same as this webcam. It's the same principle. Just output this USB-C webcam. Connect it to this USB webcam one into out splitter. At the same time, you can also use it on this Android or on an iPad. You can use it on two computers. There's no problem at all. Switch. Even if you've used something like Eurobox, it's the same principle. Anyway, as long as it's a UVC device output, you can connect it to our one into out UVC splitter. Next, let's talk about compatibility. Basically, your USB webcam device. It works well with two. Some USB webcams, they are three. USB 3 is fine. It is backward compatible with USB 2. The worst part is that some webcams, they only support USB 3. They cannot support USB 2. Those cannot be used. Like the Elgato Cam Link, those won't work because it only has USB 3 mode. Like this Logitech camera, it has a speed 3, it supports a speed 2, that's not a problem. Like this Atom Mini Pro, this video switcher, although it outputs via USB 3, it is also backward compatible with a speed 2. This can also be used. The key point is that it must be backward compatible with USB 2. I guarantee that my device will work.